TNTM The Show presents... The July Recap with your hosts... Pablo Gunner. Slay J. Marvin Goof. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about San Diego Comic-Con. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share our content if you don't mind helping us out. Yes, and our grade scale here at TNTM The Show Talk Nerd and Me is must see, must stream, check it out, pass. So let's talk about San Diego Comic-Con. The San Diegans. Mm. Oh, <laughs> goodness gracious. Always good. Every oh, year. Oh, San Diego. Take <laughs> it in. So the biggest one that I want to complain about is they announced RDJ as Dr. Doom. Victor Von Ro Doom. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey mm -hmm. Jr., yes, to be specific. So, I personally, I, like, the announcement is cool, but it, to me it doesn't make sense because I go, like, you're not bringing him back as Tony Stark, or a, unless he's a variant of Tony Stark that is Doctor Doom, that I'm cool with, but if it's not, then I'm like, this is dumb because you're taking away, you're taking away work from somebody that, that has, like, a thick, you know, like, break off Russian country accent, or has a really good one, which I don't know, he might, he might do one, I don't know. I, th I say we just kind of just let them wait, eat, let them cook. cook you know okay. what I mean? Because what if it turns into something where it's like, okay, now after Thanos killed him, something happened. Maybe he came back as like an evil spirit. <laughs> like, it's crazy. <laughs> no, but done I, weirder I, things in comic books. Oh, totally, you know, absolutely. I'm thinking oh, it's it's a scroll introduction. Well, I mean, we've seen it in the shows, but now it's making its way into the movies is the scroll, and they're kind of set up the secret wars. It yeah. Very, yeah. It very well could be the thing. And I mean, Pablo, I admit, I think I'm at an opposite of you when it comes to this, because I feel like Robert is just a good actor, right? And I am, I'm kind of with you there. Let them cook. Let them see what happens. I'd like to see what Dami can do when he actually has a villain to actually indulge himself in. I think it's going to be a little interesting. Well, you can't deny that the moment, if they have this moment, which would be stupid not to have that moment of if they somehow knock his helmet off and then see his face, whether he's a variant, I'm assuming a variant, so he won't know them, but they will think he's Iron Man. Everyone's going to be like, how, why, how could you do this to us? Like, you know what I mean? Like that moment would just destroy people at their core that like their greatest hero is now their greatest villain. You know what I mean? But he even said, like, in the same clip, new mask, same task, which is protect the Earth. And that really has been Doctor Doom, like, like even if he's the ruler of it, like, he's run his own country and he's ran it well, right? Like, yeah. they're prosperous. Everyone is safe and, and everyone does well. Everybody has food, everyone's housed, everybody's, you know, doing well. So it's not like, yeah, he's a dictator, but he's the only successful dictator, <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. Like, in... Marvel history? I don't know. But anyways, yeah. So it, it could be done. It could be. Russo brothers, especially because the Russo brothers are the ones that are going to be helming right, they're those back. movies. They're back for, for those two movies. Doomsday and for Secret, Secret Wars, Wars, which is great. It's going to bring a lot of continuity in. You know, we, if you guys saw Deadpool Wolverine, which we'll cover soon, they kind of retconned a lot of things to kind of help set up the future for the MCU. So, mm -hmm. and I think having this RDJ announcement this weekend uh, at the Comic Con, right after Deadpool came out, it's just bringing a lot of steam to back to the Marvel universe. Agreed. Yeah, it's been. It's definitely felt like kind of controversial ground, unfortunately, for the past few years. But I feel like there's a lot of promise in what we can see, and especially. Well, we're going to talk about Deadpool and Wolverine later. Right. But we'll get there. We'll get there. But <laughs> ultimately, I think a lot of what they're moving towards is going to be interesting. There's a lot of good, positive things in there. So. But the cool thing is, is they talked about other movies that are coming out, mm. which is going to be Blade, which I can't wait. For. I can't wait for that. You're going to have to. Yes. <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> I can't either. Uh, so that's that's going to be great. Especially after seeing Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, whole other discussion. Yes. Yeah. If you guys seen it, you know. You get the hype. Uh, yeah. But uh, And then also, they talked about the Thunderbolts. They 
Um, they mentioned Fantastic Four. They showed first a clip. Steps. They sh they showed a clip. Actually, I've seen the clip of the movie, and it looks really solid. Um, but they're taking it down like on TikTok, you know, like right away. But it looks cool. It looks really awesome. Awesome. Can't wait for that. It's like '60s tone and feel and vibe. So, has it been confirmed that it's pa Pedro Pascal as oh yeah as uh -huh. a Reed Richards? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah, it's gonna be great then. Yeah. Everything that guy does just is total just daddy vibes. You know? Yeah, like, <laughs> he is the, daddy. He's yeah. the eternal family man in almost everything he does. Yes. So yeah, he can do well. <laughs> Last of Us, Star Wars, now Marvel, across the board. Oh heck yeah. So yeah, and, and like you said, Thunderbolts, they have a thing for that too, so that's it's gonna be all kinds of crazy. Mm -hmm. So I just think it's weird too because they have also announced that the uh, that celestial is made out of adamantium and now everyone's gonna be trying and I'm like, why though? That sounds kinda dumb. I don't know. To me that just sounds dumb because it's not really what it is, but but it's it's also its own universe, so they can do whatever they want at this point. So I'm kinda like we'll see. Once again, like you said, like if it may, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then stupid. Probably gonna see a lot of Ninja Turtles stuff. Yeah, Ninja Turtles merch from us. Yeah, so yeah. keep an eye out for that. And uh, that's it for us.